Beltane Story by Susan Cavanna. All the bulls and the bullocks that were born last year, and the bulls, were spending the winter in a huge barn on the farm where Ian lives with his family. He has an older brother and a little sister, and his father had a lot of fields. People said there were acres and acres, but a lot of them were up in the hills, which had snow on them in the winter, and rain poured down the burns when it rained in the springtime. It was time to turn all the animals out into the fields, and because the, his family followed the old ways, they had started to fetch wood fallen branches from all around the farm and build two big bonfires. Ian's mother was busy cooking food for a feast they were going to have with the village friends, and even his grandmother and his aunties were busy getting ready for the celebration. Soon it would be Beltane. The farmers would drive their beasts between the two bonfires and then up into the fields where they would graze all summer long. There were only two smaller cows that stayed close to the house. These provided fresh milk that they, that they shared in the extended family. Ian went out with his father and the other men who had come along to help and they rounded up all the cows. They drove them between the two bonfires and then up into the fields which had been covered in snow in the middle of winter. They were all tired when they came back, but this was not the end of the day, because it was a special festival in the countryside. At Beltane, there would be a holiday. The bonfires, lots of music, and lovely things to eat. Many of the people who came to the celebration would wear clothes, dyed red, or wear red ribbons in their hair. Ian would stay up until late, listening to all the music and chatting with his friends. The day after was a holiday. No school. In fact, no one went to work. It was called May Day. In the towns and cities, some folk had forgotten about the time of year that the animals went out into the fields for the summer, but they did know it was time for a party and a day off. At the Beltane celebration, there was sometimes a hand fasting, a kind of wedding when two people from the village were crowned and had their hands tied together and then kissed. After the May Day celebration, they would leave their parents' home and would go and live in their own house together. These folk, who had left school and college and had been going out to work, also wanted to have more time together. Ian and his family would talk to Hearn. He was a god who people talked to at Beltane. And the other name was the Stag, Lord of the Forest and the Goddess was Belisana, or if you prefer, she was the May Queen. People who followed the old ways would ask the god and the goddess to bless their animals and their families. Even the crops would be blessed. Sometimes they would ask a druid to come and bless their animals and crops. And in some places they would ask a priest. Even in areas where all the people were now Christian, they still kept the May Day celebrations and would ask the local priest to come along and bless the animals, crops, and even the people. My shackled feet, they long to be free from this modern Rome. The ancient moors and the granite shores, they are calling me home. Sometimes this city is too much to bear. I hear a calling in my soul. Mother's waterways will take me where life has begun Under a Beltane sun Children play 
Skylark sings to the swift on the wing in the bright clear day. Sometimes this city is too much to bear. I hear a call.